friends, today is my birthday. Cheers. Now, while I always have champagne or Prosecco or something like that on my birthday, I do have a lot of drinks that are sort of favorites. And my crew uh, suggested that I teach you one of my favorite drinks in honor of my birthday. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna teach you how to make a watermelon margarita. The first thing that we do is we take our shaker that has no ice in it, empty shaker, and we take about a half a cup of cubed watermelon. We dump it in. When you are pouring your watermelon into your shaker, just reserve a few pieces and pour them into your martini glass. All right. And what do we do with, the, with solid ingredients in a drink? We muddle them. To refresh your memory, a muddler is a bartender's tool that I don't seem to have. I don't know where mine is. It seems to be gone. I'm no longer looking for it. So I am using my handy dandy cheese slicer as a muddler. You can use anything as a muddler as long as it has a hard, rounded edge. What you're going to do is you're going to gently, but forcefully, press the end of the muddler into your solid ingredient, in this case, the watermelon, to release the flavor of the watermelon into the drink. It will also break up the watermelon a bit. I still want it a little bit solid because I don't mind having a drink that's a little solid. Um, if you don't like that, you can just keep muddling until you completely liquefy the, uh, the watermelon. It's completely up to you. So once you have muddled to your own level of satisfaction. You then take your tequila, and you're gonna do about a three count of tequila, a lot of tequila. One, two, three, and, okay. And then, typically in a, uh, in a margarita, you would use triple sec, but really you can use any orange flavored liqueur. So you could use Grand Marnier, you can use Cointreau or triple sec. Cointreau is one of my favorites, it's a, uh, just a better quality than triple sec. It's, uh, it's warmer, it's richer, it just tastes better. So because it's my birthday, I'm gonna be using the, uh, the Cointreau. And you're gonna do about a two count of Cointreau. One, two. And then about a one count of lime juice. You can use fresh lime juice, you can use bottled lime juice, or you can use uh, the bartender's standby Rose's lime juice. That's what I prefer in my margaritas. And you're gonna do about a one count. If you really like tartness, you would do more like a two count, but I don't. So, about a one count. One, okay. Now that we have all of our ingredients in here, we've got our muddled watermelon, we've got our tequila, we've got our Cointreau, or if you prefer, triple sec, um, or Grand Marnier. We've got our lime juice. Now is the time to add ice. So we add ice and we shake. This is my happy birthday shake, folks. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, yeah. Okay, when we're done shaking, we remove our lid, we take our strainer or our slotted spoon from the kitchen, and we're gonna strain the drink into our martini glass. Oh, look at how pretty that is. So we've got a few chunks of watermelon, as well as the flavor of the watermelon that we released in the muddling process. We garnish this drink with a wedge of lime, of course, because it is a margarita. So we run the wedge of lime around the edge of the, of the glass. We squeeze it in to get that extra little pop of lime flavor. And then we set it on the side and we taste our watermelon margarita. Ah, oh, so good. Margaritas are wonderful as it is. If you're a fan of margaritas, I mean, you know how good they are, really. Tequila was made to go with a triple sec or Cointreau or Grand Marnier and lime juice. They just, it's just a wonderful combination. And adding watermelon, adding the sweetness of watermelon just makes it more of a summery drink. It's lovely, it's just lovely. Mm. All right, I raise my glasses to you. My watermelon margarita, my Prosecco. I say happy birthday to me. I wish you all well, have a good night, drink up, enjoy.